Good morning, everybody. Well, good afternoon, good evening. This is a special video for Coffee and Lore. I am super excited to be with you guys here today. And I'm here for a very specific reason. So, let's get into it. Essentially, yesterday I posted a video on um, my favorite Jamie McGuire books. And I had done a quick Google search just to make sure nothing crazy popped up. Um, I don't have a, t well, I have an author Twitter, but I don't really use it a lot. I need to probably do that. Um, but nothing crazy popped up and I was like, okay, cool. So I can talk about my favorite Jamie McGuire books. I do love some of her books. So that makes this even more sad. <laughs> but, um, I posted the video yesterday and very shortly after it went up, a very polite young lady messaged me did not come across as rude or anything like that, didn't attack me, and was like, are you sure that you want to support this author? And I was like, why? What's going on? Because I, like I said, I don't watch news. I'm not big on Twitter, things like that. And she said, well, this author has become notorious for being extremely rude to her fans and um, turning people away at book signings as well as she has made some very racist tweets. And I don't have a Twitter so I was not familiar with her Twitter account when I made the post yesterday. On that note, I have since taken my video down for the reason that I am all about freedom of speech, freedom to say what you believe and what's on your heart, and I think everyone has a right to do that. And in the same exact vein, I have the right to say, I don't support what you're saying or what you're representing, so I cannot support you. And that's what I've chosen to do. Do I still have Jamie McGuire books on my Kindle? Yes. I've bought many of her books in the past. Will I continue to purchase her books? Probably not. Because as a mother, I cannot stand to support someone who sees issues by black and white. That to me is just something that I cannot wrap my mind around. That's something that I wasn't raised to do. And that's something that I won't raise my child to do. I do not know the difficulties that African American girls and boys, you know, see in the world. I can't sit here and say that I do because I am Caucasian and my daughter is Caucasian. But I see their fight and I do see the, the wrong that is done to them and I won't stand to support. So on that note, we won't be discussing that particular author on this channel anymore, and I hope that you guys respect my choice. So what are we reading this week? We're reading some good old-fashioned science fiction. I started the Dragonlance novels, as well as, give me a moment, let me unlock my Kindle here. What are we reading this week? <clears throat> We've got the Dragonlance novels, like I said. Those are by Wes Hickman. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I cannot see this. Tracy Hickman. Thank you. As well as um, The Vine Witch is still on my Kindle. And the young lady who approached me about the um, other author and some of the things that she had commented on and tweeted actually had a great selection of novels for me to read as well. So I will be reading those because she had a high recommendation for five or six different novels that I hadn't actually read yet. So those will be added to my list. I'm excited to talk to you guys about the Dragonlance Chronicles. I'm opening those up this weekend and as well as next week we may have a on-site, on-location if you would video for Memorial Day. Super excited about that and I hope that everything works out for that. 
There'll be more details to come on that one. Everybody, I, I love you all dearly. All of my subscribers, everybody who watches, all 300 views. I just hope that everybody is out there staying safe, staying happy, reading amazing books. On that note, what are you guys reading this week?